is here. Look out, world. Sydney's back. Look out, indeed. With Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone back on track, literally and figuratively speaking, her competitors are understandably on edge. After all, they are up against the current 400 meter hurdles world record holder. From here, meaning at the top spot in the event, Sydney aims to keep going forward. With the with the Paris Olympics fast approaching, she is more determined than ever to maintain her top spot. After an injury sidelined her for much of the 2023 season, including the World Athletics Championships in Budapest, fans had been eagerly awaiting Sydney's return to form. On that note, fans were delighted when she made her long-awaited return to the track in April as a member of a women's 4 times 100 meter quartet at the Mount SAC Relays in California, where she, along with her team, finished second place. Competing at the Hilmer Lodge Stadium in Walnut, California, United States, McLaughlin Lavrone, along with Kenny Harrison, Jenna Prandini, and Morolake Akinosin, ran for the Formula Kersi, securing second place behind Team International. The winning team was composed of Dina Asher-Smith, Rasidat Adeleke, Lanai Tabit-Thomas, and Julian Alfred. While Team International clocked 42.03 seconds, Formula Kersey followed, recording 42.93 seconds. Her next race, and her first individual race of the season, in early May, was where she competed in her first hurdle race since August 8, 2022. It wasn't, however, in the 400 meters her signature event. Nevertheless, she secured the top spot at last month's Oxy Invitational in Los Angeles. Lining up in two races outside her specialty at the Oxy Invitational, the 24-year-old American ran an impressive 100-meter hurdles in 12.71 seconds, six hundredths of a second off her personal best set in 2021. She then followed this with another win in the 200-meter, recording a wind-aided time of 22.38 seconds. She then competed at the 2024 USATF Los Angeles Grand Prix held at UCLA's Drake Stadium and, surprise, surprise, won. There, the two-time Olympic champion blazed to victory in the women's 200 meter. Whoa, look at that lead for the Olympic champion in the 400 meter hurdles. No hurdles today and no trouble taking down the best in the world. At From the gun, McLaughlin Lavrone raced a step above the competition at UCLA. By the first turn, the 2022 world champion had already broken away. The Neutrogena women's 200 meters from Los Angeles. Gabby Thomas with a lot to prove after that 100. She's in the middle of the pack, but Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni has gotten out very well and will lead off the turn. She continued to blaze through the final stretch, where she clocked 22.07, a new personal best. Notably, it is a mere five hundredths of a second off the world lead. It was a shocking result for McLaughlin Lavrone, who specializes in the 400 meter hurdles. 22 seconds, a new lifetime best for Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, 22.07, Steiner second. Abby Steiner, the US indoor record holder in the 200 and 300 meters, finished second with 22.32 seconds. Gabby Thomas, the Olympic bronze medalist and world silver medalist, was sixth in 22.68 after running a 100 meter a little more than 90 minutes earlier. Although Sydney had been winning her races here and there, fans have been eagerly waiting for her to make her return to the 400M hurdles. Although she bagged a win at the Oxy Invitational, Fans were a bit disappointed when she only participated in the 100 meter competition. Then, at the LA Grand Prix, she participated in the 200 meter hurdle, letting her fans down once again. So when it was announced that the two-time Olympic champion was set to race in the 400 meter hurdles by late May, fans were ecstatic. It was going to be her first competition in the discipline since August 2022. The American has been named among the competitors for the Edwin Moses Legends Meet 2024, held on the last day of May in Atlanta. Despite not competing in the 400-meter hurdles for the past 21 months, 
The 24-year-old hasn't been simply sitting and fiddling on her thumbs. Last season, she competed in several major competitions at the 400-meter flat discipline before a knee injury prevented her from further competing. But in her first 400-meter hurdles race for nearly two years, Olympic champion Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone cruised to victory in a world-leading 52.7 seconds. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone is back in a big way. The crowd at their feet. They're seeing a world record holder live in person. Her first 400 hurdles since August of 2022. It's going to be quick. The world record holder is here. As you saw, she left the rest of the field trailing in her wake at the Edwin Moses Classic at Morehouse College. Although her winning time was well outside her world record of 50.68 set at the 2022 World Championships, the American was more than happy with her performance. It's a progression, shaking the rust off after two years. I'll take a 52.7. Things to work on and I haven't had much hurdle practice, so there are things to improve, she said. Yeah, first race, uh, first one to hurdles in two years. I think it's a good start, definitely a lot to build upon. Um, and yeah, just happy to be back out here. So I think for first race out, getting the rest off, shaking the nerves off, uh, I'll take a 52.7. What's more, her 52.70 run also happened to be the 2024 world leading time. Sydney's season best time was more than a second faster than the next fastest 400 meter hurdles. Time by a woman this year, eclipsing the 53.72, set by Jamaica's Russell Clayton in Kingston on May 11th. When asked if she could go sub 50 in the 400 meter hurdles, she admitted. I have no idea. You know, it's really, it's a progression. I know that the numbers are possible, but it's a matter of getting there. And I think people don't understand as an athlete, you're not going to come out of the gates ready to do that all the time. Nevertheless, running a world leading time in her first 400 hurdles race since 2022, Sydney earned recognition as the 21st USATF Athlete of the Week award winner for 2024. Truth be told, she deserves the award especially since she showed that she hasn't lost a step in the 400 meter hurdles since winning the world title in stunning fashion at Eugene in 2022. She basically dominated the field at the HBCU Classic American Track League meet in Atlanta in 52.70, the fastest time in the world in 2024 and a time only she and five other American women have ever bettered. If posting a series of pictures of herself at the meet. She captioned it as, he gives grace for every hurdle. Most of you are probably aware of how she revealed how vital her faith is for her. When asked previously what emotions she feels when she crosses the finish line, she said, Relief, praise, thankfulness, excitement, um, disbelief, <laughs> all those different things at once, but truly just like, thank you, God for hearing my prayers and answering them. And Sydney still has a few races to win in order to compete in this year's Summer Olympics. In fact, she, along with fellow global sprint champions, Noah Lyles and Elaine Thompson Hira, are set to headline the USATF New York City Grand Prix. The event is to be the second US-based World Athletics Continental Tour Gold Meeting of the Year. Organizers of the event have announced that track athletics star, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, will line up for the women's 400 meter at the Continental Tour Gold Meeting. The decision follows the two-time Olympic champion's impressive return to the 400 meter hurdles, where she set a new world lead time in Atlanta. Note, however, that at the Icon Stadium on Sunday, she will return to the flat version of her specialist events, the 400 meter hurdle. The meet is said to feature a high profile list of athletes, including Noah Lyles, Gabby Thomas, Elaine thompson Hera, Fred Curley, Kirani James, Toby Amuson, Danielle Williams, Devin Charlton, and Kendra Harrison. Fun fact, it will be the second time in two years that McLaughlin Lavrone has chosen to run the 400 meter on Randall's Island. The first time was in 2023, when she bested Thomas to take the win in 49.51. Do not fret, since McLaughlin Lavrone will enter the 400M hurdles at the 2024 U.S. Olympic Trials, signaling a return to focus on the event that has defined her career. Her coach, Bobby Kersey, and one of her agents confirmed the news to NBC Sports in mid-May. 
The 2024 U.S. Olympic Trials will take place in Eugene, Oregon, at Hayward Field from June 21st to June 30th. Kersey said McLaughlin Lavrone is going back to the hurdles this summer because that's her main event. That's what we want to defend our Olympic championship in. The world champions coach added, I think Sydney's love is the 400 meter hurdles, and so that's the number one event. My job is to make sure that she gets ready for the one that she wants to do the most. Would Sydney be able to defend her 400 meter hurdle title? We'll have to see. For now, watch this to see who else we expect to see in Paris next month.